What is being an American to you? This is what being an American means to me. When I was a young boy, I went to my friend's sister's house who was mentally retarded. She was not diagnosed mentally retarded, but she was incredibly dumb. We, she went out, she left us there. We said, she said to us, do not leave. You can order dominoes and watch films. We said, wouldn't it be funny if we left a fake ransom note for her? She won't believe it. She's not that stupid. So we went to the park to smoke a pack of cigarettes we had stolen from his mother. And we left a ransom note that said, I kidnapped the two kids. If you want them back, show up to this intersection with money. Mm. Well, this moron called the police because she actually believed that we had been kidnapped. And she started hysterically crying. And she called the police. And we didn't know what to do. And we eventually walked back to the house while the police were outside. And she was crying. And she grabbed us and hugged us. Like she still thought that we had been kidnapped. And she had called my friend's mother. And my friend's mother knew what was going on. And she was very angry. And she pulled up outside the house. And she looked at me and my friend and she goes, I can't believe you would do this to your sister. And then she turned around and she looked at the girl and she went, you are a fucking retard. <laughs> That's what being an American means to me. You see, everybody has a different version of the the joys and the promises and the challenges of this land. But that story really encapsulates it to me. I don't give a shit about this owning property and any of that other shit. <laughs> but when she looked at her and said, you are a fucking retard. How stupid are you? I mean, it just made me happy. And it was the summer. It was a nice, mm -hmm. <clears throat> It was a nice summer memory. But to me, America is about having an abortion with a gun. It's about eating a sandwich that's made of a sandwich. It's about being on a boat, getting fucked by a boat on a boat. It's about hitting a dog and unlike you, not adopting it. Driving on. That's what America is about to me. You know? Mm -hmm. It's about drinking gasoline and lighting your inner fire. It's about crushing pills on a CD case and snorting them to feel good. It's about finding friends that you only are friends with because they have drugs. It's about getting a job you hate in the hopes that one day you could get a job you hate that pays more money than this one. It's about finding someone to fuck who hates you. <laughs> Being an American to me is about traveling without truly ever leaving. Never really appreciating anything. Being handed stuff. Getting a lot of things you don't deserve and nothing you do. Being handed things, squandering opportunities, always attacking others, blaming, never being introspective and looking down deep in yourself as to why uh, you are where you are or how you could have handled things better. Being an American to me means being entertaining at all times, even when killing someone. It means that everything in life should be a spectacle, kind of an O.J. Simpson trial. Everything. Everything. From your divorce to an argument at breakfast. Everything should at all times be insane. <laughs> Nothing should truly make sense outside of the idea that it is all entertaining and for sport. Being an American to me means being inconsiderate in a very considerate way. Meaning offending people only once you've gotten to know them pretty damn well. Knowing the buttons to push and pushing them. 
being an American to me means figuring out that everything's full of shit when you're about nine and oscillating between drug, food, sex addiction, and the mismanagement of your money to handle it. Knowing at any time that your government has orchestrated many different attempts to kill and enslave you and still enjoying Top Gun. It's a good film. Being an American to me means never feeling sorry for a feral cat, knowing that it'll figure it out just like you will. Being an American to me means looking at a disabled person and knowing somewhere down deep they deserve it. <laughs> Be Amer being an American to me means you can summon up a murderous rage at the slightest inconvenience. If someone refuses to seat you in an appropriate period of time at a restaurant, praying that they get into a car accident where they bash their head off their glove compartment and they live to deal with the debt. Being an American doesn't mean wishing death on someone. It means wishing bankruptcy multiple times that they have to go in and out of court. It doesn't mean wishing they lose their children. It means wishing they have to raise them. Being an, being an American to me means everything and also nothing at all. We're a country of 350 million people. Being an American means watching people from all walks of life, all corners of the world come here and learn to be a psychopath. Being an American to me means being jealous, vindictive, petty, hostile, vicious, cowardly, brave, also, being a liar, being a cynic, but being ultimately hopeful that one day the people you agree with kill everyone else. Being an American to me means concerning yourself with tunnels of children under the ground or government controlling the weather, but never with your actual position in life and who's fucking you that can actually reach out and touch you because they're out there. Being an American to me means understanding that TGIF was a good group of shows on ABC. And yes, the kids got raped. Being an American to me means understanding that Wendy's in the 1990s was maybe the greatest restaurant that God has ever given man. That the Monterey Ranch chicken sandwich with bacon in the ranch dressing, lettuce, tomato, and a slice of Monterey Jack-ish like cheese on a soft bun while eaten in a Mazda Navajo you had financed on the way to a house you couldn't afford, but you had somehow figured out how to pay for that month, was a great joy. America is a collection of minutes. It's a collection of cigarette breaks. It's a collection of finding a bathroom in a mall. It's a collection of shitting. It's a collection of lost friendships, unrequited loves, Opportunities you didn't take, failures, small successes, broken families, bitter, horrible, nasty, hopeless people that all come together every 4th of July to eat. That's what America is. There's something beautiful about it. America's industrial parks... Our most beautiful places in America, our national parks, have become playgrounds for killers <laughs> to murder people who go seek out their majestic beauty. 
America means that the government may kidnap your children and try to turn them into sex slaves or assassins, <laughs> mind control victims, and brainwash them. But at the end of the day, Entenmann's is a good cake. And everyone likes it. I do. America to me is about telling your children to go to college so that they can go and haze other kids and kill them. <laughs> That's what America means to me. America to me means you can start a podcast with your friend and end up on an FBI watch list. America to me means you can move to the greatest city in America, Austin, Texas, mm -hmm. and live there in a hundred degree swamp heat for a year because it's a truly moving experience. America means the great comedy clubs, the comedy store, the comedy salad. The stand and others will be full of young children. And by young children, I mean 41-year-olds trying to make it as a buffoon. That's beautiful. America to me means that our one of our most American sports, golf, will, like everything else, eventually be owned by the Saudis. That's what America means to me. It's a great country. It's a beautiful place. I'm happy to be here, but I would go anywhere else. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> That's what America means to me. I've been incredibly blessed to live here. I've met some of the most interesting people in my business and other businesses. And I've realized that they're not that interesting. And that's a blessing. That's a blessing. I've been, I've met some of the wealthiest people in the world, some of the most powerful people in the world. And I'll tell you right now, there's nothing more fun than doing cocaine with your friend in the back of a rental car. That's America to me. <clears throat> America to me comes down to three words. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your mouth because someone else is talking. And that person is smarter than you or at least they've robbed more people. America to me is about endless options for pancakes. Mm -hmm. So many different types of fluffy pancakes that you can put your head on and sleep. Mm -hmm. America to me is about the chalky taste that a pharmaceutical leaves as it slides down your throat, headed to your bloodstream to make it all better. America means finding your child OD'd in the bathroom. <laughs> Getting the Narcan out and reviving them <laughs> so they live to rob you one more time. That's what America means. Never give up. Never surrender. We have a beautiful and very, very disgusting country. And I'm proud to live here. I'm proud of all of our problems, our school shootings, our tent cities. They are our greatest strengths. It's all a matter of perspective. That's what America means to me. America means to me sitting at a bar next to someone and I've done this where you're doing shots and their child their 11 year old child walks in <laughs> crying 
<laughs> and says, Daddy, please come home. And he goes, you're not old enough to be in here. You have to leave. Okay, little angel. Daddy will be home soon. And then the mother comes in. And she goes, how can you sit there as a man? <laughs> while your daughter cries and asks for you to come home. And he says, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> and she leaves. And then he looks at me and he goes, she's very selfish. And I said, I think she is. And he goes, would you like to split an order of clams? That's what America means to me. What a selfish bitch. <laughs> Whatever America means to you out there, I don't care. Doesn't mean anything to me. All I ask is that you keep listening to our show and keep paying us. Whatever else you do. Whatever genocides you commit. Just know that all we care about is that you support us. You can beat your wife. You can torture your children. You could be like Jenny's dad and Forrest Gump. Just rape them all. <laughs> but if you buy our products, <laughs> if you buy tickets to see me and you support our Patreon, oh. <laughs> Like they say in the opening scene of The Wire, it's America, man. It's America. So, with all of that, our show is exclusively moving to Saudi Spotify. It will be available only in the country of Saudi Arabia. And they're giving us $100 million. The most American thing I could think of to do would be to sell this podcast to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> the most American thing I could do would be to open this podcast next week sitting in full Saudi garb from a palace in Riyadh and don't think I won't do it. <laughs> don't think for a minute... That I won't do it. Oh, Christ, I'll do it. That is the most American thing that I can do. It's the most American thing I can do. It's really the most American thing I can do. Because it's, um, it's a country about the future. It's not about the past. It's not about, oh, the government did 9-11. It's what are they going to do next? It's about the future. You can't lose yourself. You have to always focus on the great things that are coming our way. My father said something to me that was very brilliant. And it meant a lot to me. We were driving once and he said to me, he said, son, never overestimate your worth. He said, you're not that special. And anything you can do, someone else can probably do. And I always remembered that. <laughs> I always remembered that. I think it made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. He said to me one day, me and your mother, it's not that we don't love each other. It's that we don't love each other anymore. We're, we're ending this marriage. <laughs> you know, listen, I don't, it's no secret that I don't speak to a, a lot of my family. And that's okay. It doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean anything. You know? But that's what America is. America is about family. 
America is about family. That's what America is about. It's a big, we're a big wacky family. We're a big wacky family. And my mother has always been, you know, pretty honest with me about this country. She's, she's always been honest. She said to me, you're too fat to be on television consistently. She said, if you dye your hair, someone may give you enough money to fix your teeth. <laughs> and she said, Barack Obama's a Muslim. <laughs> now, my mother's a great American story because she started out as a wiki watching mermaid in Florida. She spent years as a surfer, then having me, and then was a swim teacher. And now she ends uh, as a paranoid schizophrenic locked away in a room. But if we only knew about live streaming, Ma, oh God, the money you could have made. The money Ma could have made if we just knew about live streaming. Because, man, mommy would have fucking lit up those super chats. <laughs> oh mommy would have live streamed her way right out. It's a question of timing. Question of timing. It's unfortunate. Do you have anything to add before we get out of here? No, that was beautiful. Yes. That was absolutely beautiful. It's almost like I'm the one that should talk. This guy's talking about home ownership. He doesn't own anything. He owns a sick dog. Kill it. Everyone, I hope you enjoy uh, your 4th of July. I hope you remember what made this country great. Fraud, murder, and cool shit. Cool shit. We've got cool shit here. We've got cool shit. People come here, they go, that's eh, pretty cool. Be cool. Smoke, drink, use drugs. Make a lot of money. <laughs> Die very young. <laughs> Kill others. 